video is kind of like the part two of my last video, so if you've not seen that, pause right here. I will link that video down below and on the screen now, so you can go ahead and watch that. It was my kind of big uni shopping vlog. We went to Ikea, we went to TK Maxx, we went to Danelle Mill. We just banged out all of my shopping in one day. So today I am kind of doing part two of this three part series, I guess. I'm gonna do a whole separate video dedicated to my bedroom because um, there wasn't too much stuff I got from my bedroom from Ikea. This is an Ikea haul, although there are a couple other brands thrown in. Um, I got some stuff from Amazon and some stuff from TK Maxx. That I'm just gonna pop in this haul because it's all my kind of living essentials and home stuff instead of my bedroom decor and those kind of bits. So this is what we are doing today. I am gonna try and wrestle through all of this because knowing me, I will ramble so much and I will want to kill myself when I am editing this back. I already know I'm gonna get questions as well. This um, bodysuit is from Zara. I just don't really like my arms enough to wanna get them out in a whole video, so I've just chucked on this um, baggy top, which I actually don't know where this shirt is from, it's my sister's. And my hair's a really weird pink color because I'm kind of washing out the pink hair dye that I did a few weeks ago. So many disclaimers, so many things to talk about. Let's just get on with the haul. I have this absolutely gigantic bag filled to the brim with Ikea goodies. I feel like this is kind of um, a, a really boring haul because it's kind of just basic living essentials, but if you've not done your uni shop yet, then this might be really helpful and you can use this as kind of like a shopping list, I guess. Just kind of tick things off, make sure you've got all of this because I'm pretty sure I've bought everything that I need. If I've not, please feel free to let me know down below. But first off, just the basics. I got two pillows for my bed. I have a three quarter bed. Um, I'm already going off topic because this is probably something I should talk about in my actual bedroom video. Um, I've got a three quarter bed so I figured two pillows would be enough. Um, I'm also, I've got like throw pillows and other things so we just got two of the basic pillows. Alongside that, I got my duvet. Um, I am someone that would rather go to sleep absolutely freezing than be really cozy and warm. I can just always add a blanket. So I got a duvet cover that is um, quite thin. I got two lots of just these white hangers. I think there's eight in each pack, so that's 16. I personally don't think that's gonna be enough hangers, but I think I'm just gonna have to double up because my wardrobe space is gonna be pretty small. I then didn't even know we got these. What are they? Pillow covers? Oh, this makes sense. They're pillowcases, we got these before my bedding. I don't know if these are like protectors. Do you, I don't know. I bought your box standard baking tray, just, you know, for all my chicken nuggets. Um, these were from Primark Home. I popped in to get a throw because I really like the Primark throws and they're just so much cheaper than anywhere else. And I saw these um, metal straws that I thought would be really handy. They also come with a little cleaner. I think these were like £2.50. Saving the turtles one gallon at a time. I got a tin opener, potato peeler. I didn't know if I would need a dustpan and brush, but I bought one just in case. I would rather be over prepared than under prepared, but I don't know if my house is gonna come with this because I'm living in a house instead of in like um, a comedy, no, well it is accommodation. Instead of um, like halls or flats, I have a house and it's kitted out with like a kettle, a dustbin, just the kind of basic stuff and I, I assume that one of these might be there but just in case. Um, I've got these two tea towels that I think are from Sainsbury's. My mum actually bought them like last year for my sister and then my sister never used them. So um, we just had these lying around the house, cute little pink accents. A classic frying pan, you need one of these. I know that my um, hobs in my house are induction, but these are just, and I think most of the IKEA stuff is, it works on hob, uh, on a hob, on a gas hob, an induction hob, an electric hob. Are they the three kinds? I don't know. I got a little set of um, utensils. I got a spatula, a big spoon and a ladle. An oven mitt, again, this is something I feel like we only probably need one of in our house. I'm living in a house with three other people, so there's four of us. But um, I bought one and if anyone else has, then I guess we'll just have loads of oven mitts lying around. Pack of knives, what an absolute fucking whopper that is. Take this as a warning to anyone considering breaking into my house. A little funky potato masher. I thought this was really um, cool 
for my mashed potatoes because I fucking love a mashed potato. We've got a cheese grater, four sides. Again, probably something other people might buy and we might end up with loads of these in our house. A garlic crusher because this is, an, this is a kitchen essential. I got this three pack of pans, so you get just a little pan, um, a bigger pan, and then this like pot. And then finally my big Ikea bag of goodies is just a pack of scissors. I just wanted the big pair for the kitchen really, but it comes with two little pairs that I can work in a pencil case or something. Right, I'm now gonna try and shove all of this back in the bag and make it fit like it did before. Right. We've finished the bag, but the haul, <laughs> the haul's not over yet. Try and contain your excitement, I know. Possibly the thing in this haul that will get the most use is my colander. I imagine my diet will consist of lots of pasta, although I'm telling myself I'm gonna be good and I'm going to drama school where everyone's gonna be really fit and in shape and eat healthy, because it's a big school for dancers. Maybe I'll just use this to drain out my lettuce once I've washed it. We already had um, plates and bowls, which, I've left downstairs and I'm not going down to go and get them right now. They're just your box standard white plates. They've got a bit of like a scalloped edge. I'll insert a picture on the screen. So they are just, we got two big, um, two big plates and then two smaller ones. Um, but we didn't have any bowls. So I picked up two of these little pink bowls for little pink accents, you know, so you know it's mine. Um, they're just really sweet little cereal bowls. I can have my soup in them. I can put my pasta in them. Just some nice little bowls. I got just a glass dish for um, any like pasta bakes or anything that I make in the oven or just other food, stuff like that. You just need a glass dish that's like oven proof. And then I got um, some little plants. I guess I could have put these in my bedroom hall because that's where they're gonna be, but I mean, they were from Ikea. So they are so fake, it's literally unbelievable. I'm really hoping no one gets too close to these in my room, but they're just these little purple peonies. Yeah, pretty cute. These are gonna be up on high shelves as decorative pieces, so hopefully no one realizes how fake they are. Then the last thing from Ikea is these glasses, which are beautiful glasses. Um, well, they were beautiful when I saw them in Ikea, but we actually bought the wrong color. We thought they were clear and we actually bought blue so anyone from uh, my school watching this will think what well, i'm thinking that they literally look like the cups we get at school at lunch except they're glass instead of plastic but yeah they've got this really pretty like little like ridges in and there was no point taking them back and returning them because they're glasses i'm literally going to uni they're probably going to get smashed um so i just got four of them and although they're not my favorite and i wouldn't I wouldn't have picked the blue had I known they were going to be blue. Um, it's, it's uni, they're probably going to break at some point and I just, it's, all I'm doing is drinking out of them, okay, it doesn't, it doesn't need to look perfect. We then um, went to TK Maxx for some of my bedding and home, like room bits, but while we were there we found this six pack of wine glasses and we needed some more wine glasses for home because a couple of them have been smashed recently. Um, so we bought this six pack and we've, my mum's kept four for here and I am taking two. Um, so they're just these really pretty kind of like fluted, um, glasses. And then the last two things in this haul are Amazon purchases. So I have a pin board in my room. I think most uni rooms have a pin board. I just got some nice pins. Um, so they are just rose gold. I will hold them for you to see. They're just rose gold, um, pins with a clear head. And then I bought a little um, shower caddy from Amazon. So it has little drain holes in the bottom so you can take it into the shower. Um, I don't know where this is gonna live, potentially in my bathroom. I've got a shared bathroom, so there's one bath, there's one shower in our house and there's two toilets. But the shower room is obviously shared between four of us and I thought it's just gonna be easier if I keep all of my stuff in here and I can either leave it in my room and take it in and out of the bathroom with me or I can just leave it in the bathroom and it's just easy to see which stuff is mine instead of feeling bad for stealing other people's stuff because I don't know what's mine and what's not. But I just thought it was perfect, it's really cute. They do it in a couple of other colours, like they do it in like a pink with silver handles or like a mint green, but I really liked the wood. I think it's gonna be the same sort of colour as the wood in my bedroom um, and this just worked out perfect. And it was, I think, about 10 pounds. And that was it. Like I said, this isn't the uni stuff done. I think there are a couple of things that I might still need to pick up. There are certainly things that I need to buy still for my bedroom, which is why that haul will probably be here in about two weeks. I'm really excited for that video. I am working with a brand that 
I absolutely love. Yeah, and I'm just really excited to do that haul because a lot of stuff for it hasn't arrived yet and I'm excited to see it all in the flesh and it's just... I just love decorating my room. I'm also gonna be vlogging like pretty much my first like month at Liverpool, I feel like. I'm gonna be doing a move-in vlog and then I'm gonna be vlogging Freshers Week and then I'm gonna be vlogging my first proper week at drama school. There's just gonna be so much Liverpool content coming. It's now officially today, three weeks until my first day at Lipper. So exciting, um, it's literally gonna come so quickly. So I hope you guys are looking forward to all of that content. If you are, and if you enjoyed this video, then smash a huge thumbs up. Let me know if there is anything I've missed out of this haul in the comments, and also let me know if you have any requests for upcoming content, considering I'm moving to Liverpool, if there is anything in particular you would like to see. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. And other than that, I have nothing else to say, but I will see you very soon with another video. Bye. Thank you.